In terms of types of analytic, I covered four types of analytic, which is descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, and prescriptive. So with descriptive, you will then need to answer what happened based on your current or either historical data set. So you need to summarize it to understand what happened within the data set. Once you understand what happened, then you will move to diagnostic to understand why did it happen. In that instance, you are looking on the cause of anything. That's where you can also see your data anomalies where possible. Once you understand your data, then you move to the third step, which is predictive analytic, where then you project the future based on your historical or current data. Once you have projected your data, that means you will understand what might happen in the future. Now you know the future, you are a prophet. So you then apply the last analytic type, which is prescriptive analytic. And then with that, you will then answer, what should we do next? That's where you start to apply some insights and do some suggestions based on the takeaways of your overall diagnostic and prescriptive and predictive analytics. And maybe you have a decision and say, let's take this decision before this happen in the future to minimize the risk or maybe to optimize sales, depending on your overall data set or what you are looking forward to achieve using your data set to answer those business questions. An example, it was for company XYZ, which is an e-commerce e-retail company. That company has roughly eight subsidiaries and each subsidiary performed independently. But the overall group wanted to understand what they should expect across all those subsidiaries in Black Friday. That was in 2021. Yeah, I was working for that company. And around June, I was doing the projections for them. And when I was doing those projections, I then gathered some historical data. For the past five years, in most cases, I normally use historical data of roughly three years. But now, because we have COVID from 2020 up to today, you will definitely need to go a little bit further back because the data change more, especially within the e-commerce space where a lot of organizations or retail were booming in terms of sales within that space because a lot of people were shopping online than offline. But now as people are starting to shift back to shops, the data also start to have a different trend compared to the time where we had COVID-19. So once I've gathered that data, I then perform descriptive analytics to have a summary of historical data for Black Friday specific. Once I've done that, I then performed diagnostic analytics where I understand the data pattern correlations and identified any anomalies across those data and highlighted that during COVID, data is totally different compared to any time prior to COVID period. Then once I understand my data, I could see the trend, I would then perform predictive analytics to see how Black Friday in 2021, during that current year, it was going to be by then. And then with those targets, we then use them as, with those projections, we then use them as the target or benchmark. Having all this information, because I projected the number of orders, sales, I then performed prescriptive analytics where I then advised different business units, like within the logistics department. I told them that subsidiary two or subsidiary five will sell this number of units during Black Friday. You guys need to be ready for this. And if you need more resources, let us know. You should communicate with Korea guys so that they can have available resources during this period also. So they were readily like prepared for that Black Friday because of the prescriptive analytics. 
even the finance department knew that, okay, we are expecting to sell this much during Black Friday. So this will help us to achieve the overall financial yes target if we can achieve this. If they can't, then they will then communicate with the marketing and say, guys, uh, we if we achieve this sales, we will not make it for the overall financial year, but can we have more marketing campaign to ensure that we outperform this? You can see there also, they outperformed it with 111%, which was good, although some of those subsidiaries did didn't do well, like the one with 63%, which is subsidiary eight, but on a year on year, most or majority of them performed very well.